In this module, I'll show you how easy it is to navigate within Traffic Controller. After you log on, you will land on the Controller homepage. Notice the five icons in the upper right hand corner. I'll walk you through the functions behind each of these icons. This is the logout icon. Click on it when you want to exit Controller. A new feature of Controller is the user preference icon. This will be used to customize the interface. For example, the user can set their own time zone preference. More functionality will be added to this icon in future releases. When Dorothy lost her way, she had to click her ruby slippers three times to return home. You can do it just by clicking the main page icon once. Anytime you want to return to the home page, simply click on the main page icon. The report page icon takes you to the report selection page. Controller has an extensive set of reports that you can customize according to your own criteria. In the left panel, you will see a list of corporations assigned to your user profile. If you have access to many corporations or accounts, you may find the specific account faster by typing the corporate name or corporate ID in the search bar. Please note that by clicking on the magnifying glass icon, you can access a variety of search options that allow you to retrieve information quickly. Once you have found the corporation, you can view your routing data by double-clicking on the corporation name. Notice the six tabs at the top of this page. The first tab, Routing Plan, provides you with a list of all your routing plans, whether a plan is active or inactive, and the last time the plan was modified. Call Traffic Controller is very flexible. You can click on any column heading to sort your plans. Simply click on the column heading and a pop-up window with the available sort options will appear. For example, if you click on the last modified column, you can sort the dates in ascending or descending order. In this example, I've sorted the routing plans by their status, so my active plans are listed first. When you double-click on a routing plan, you'll be able to view a graphical representation of that plan. In this plan, there are two sales centers, one in India and one in Ireland. Notice that there is time-dependent routing and call distribution features attached to this plan. When you place the cursor on any routing plan element, additional details will appear in the right-hand panel. When you place your cursor in front of a feature, a box displaying the feature parameters will pop up. Notice the significant detail that you can see about any particular feature. Anytime you want to go back to the previous screen, click the up icon on the left hand side of your screen. One of our newer features is screening plans. Screening plans either block or allow calls based on a caller's number or a caller entered authorization code. Unlike routing plans, screening plans are optional. The second tab will bring up a list of all your screening plans. And just like routing plans, you can view a graphical representation of a screening plan by double-clicking on the plan name. You can navigate a screening plan the same way you would navigate a routing plan. In this example of a screening plan, we have one that uses the authorization code feature. As in the prior examples, if you want to return to the previous screen, simply click on the up icon. The third tab at the top of your screen displays the access number sets. This is an optional capability. Please see the training module on access number sets for more information. The fourth tab lists all the access numbers linked to your corporate ID. From this screen, you can see the name of the access number, if screening plans are used, the country where the call originated, the access type, such as domestic toll-free or PSTN access, the dialed number, and the date of the last modification to this particular plan. From the Access Number tab, simply double-click on the access number to view details. 
At the bottom of the page, you will see routing plans associated with this access number. Notice that the active plan is in green with an asterisk. The fifth tab at the top of the page is for endpoints. Another name for endpoints is termination. Terminations are where your calls are going to. From this page, you can see the name of the termination, the country where it is located, and the type of endpoint. If the termination is green, then that termination has overflow. Let's take a closer look at a logical endpoint. On this screen, you can see the outpulse or DNS digits, the associated switch and trunk of the physical connection, and all the associated terminating features. Last but not least is the Data tab. Let's click on the final tab to show the data screen. If you have any corporate level data, it will be listed here. For example, this customer has built two screening lists, two holiday lists, and a customized calendar. Let's click on the first screening list. The screening list is using authorization codes. The authorization codes appear in the first column. Note that you can assign a start and an end date to a code. This can be particularly useful if you're running limited time offers. I hope you've gained an appreciation of how easy it is to navigate within Controller. For additional information on how you can use Controller to its full potential, please consult your user guide.